Alhaji, what do you make of this? Uh, as a former member of parliament, you're a big stakeholder in all this. More so, your experience comes to bear. Roland, I, I want to say a good morning to you again and a good morning to my uh, fellow panelists. Um, mm. I've not been here in a while, but it's always good to, to be back. And a, a very big good morning to your viewers this morning. I am very uncomfortable with what is happening in Parliament. And I think that um, in the annals of um, our democratic history, the Eighth Parliament is proven to be a parliament that has not been up to the task given mm. to them. Mm. Um, in the Eighth Parliament, we've seen too many the theoretical performances mm. about gaining a political advantage, especially from the minority group. Because of the closeness and the numbers uh, we have in Parliament, and um, for me, I was thinking, and and all, despite how I felt on the seventh of January, um, twenty twenty one, when Mr. Speaker, Right Honourable Kingsford Sumano, back then, was 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 elected, and uh, to preside over the proceedings in Parliament, I I really felt very bad. But upon second thought, I thought uh, in, in, in such a situation, when you have those closeness in numbers, who else than the longest serving member of parliament, than the man who was there when it all began, than the man who has, has all the experience, the man who has been deputy speaker, he's been majority leader, he's virtually been there, seen it and done it. So I, 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 I thought that with, with him being in the saddle, we're going to have um, a productive parliament, but it's proven otherwise. I don't understand. You mean the speaker is the cause of all these? Of course, for me, today, as I sit here, I will lay the, the blame barely at his, his Alain, feet. What has the speaker done wrong? The speaker is saying that, and from his press, press um, program here two days ago, he said that he has no ruled that those four seats are vacant. He has no ruled because he couldn't have ruled when this whole thing started as a statement and not a motion, subsequent to that, he is aware that the Supreme Court has begun proceedings that is asking him to stay it. But you see, at the press um, uh, program that he held, he made certain specific statements that I find very, very, very worrying. Like what? Speaker says he believes in the supremacy of the Constitution not the Supreme Court. Our Constitution, that he believes in so much, says that the Supreme Court is the institution that would interpret all the provisions in the Constitution when people disagree on it. And what did the majority leader do? He disagreed on the interpretation or the spin or whatever, whether it was information, whether it was ruling, because when they went to the Supreme Court, which we all watched on TV, the speaker's lawyer, Tadio Sori was, say, was referring to a ruling by the speaker. At the presser, the speaker was telling us that he had no rule, that he had given information to parliament. The majority leader disagreed with the interpretation he put on articles 97, 1G and H. And so he went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says, look, stay whatever whatever, whether it was information, whether, whether, whether it was ruling. State, let the parties come. He, uh, he actually, actually uh, um, um, submit, submitted himself to the, to the Supreme Court. And there was a ruling challenging the, the, the initial, initial decision of the Supreme Court for him to stay that, 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 that ruling or what, what he wants us to believe now as information. And he lost. Now he's telling us that he believes in the Constitution, but not, he cannot subject himself to the Supreme Court. For God's sake, who is bigger than the Supreme Court in this country? Who? Everybody is subject, subject to the law. And if the Supreme Court has the ultimate, ultimate responsibility to interpret the provisions of this Constitution, everybody is subject to the Supreme Court. How can he make such a statement? Didn't he make that I statement? Think that, I think that, I think that, and Alaji, that, that, that statement, didn't that he, statement didn't I want he, to, I didn't want to, he to. Make, Didn't he make the statement at the same time saying that Parliament has been enclosed with the powers to be able to resolve whatever disagreement or difficulties? And as a result of that, that's why he says that he believes in the supremacy the, of the Constitution. To the extent that 
in a and indeed act, even in the independence of to parliament the, to the extent that any act is contrary to the provisions of the constitution that act is is is, is, is um, the lawyers have a term that uh, <laughs> can, cannot 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 stay so in, in this case look for what has been happening in parliament i put the blame squarely at the feet of the speaker the How speaker can you made say that? The, the speaker made 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 made, made another Made, made, made another attempt to to tell and to to want Ghanaians to believe that we are not in a constitutional crisis but i think that he's plunged us into a constitutional crisis in a country like ours where we know the three arms of 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 of, of government will have to be uh, to, uh, to will have to be running to make effective our our governance structure today parliament is is disabled now who cause them the speaker cause them why should it be the speaker who takes the blame? Because look, whatever whatever changes is, is happening, whoever is majority, who is minority, he should be bold enough. He should be bold enough to give a ruling. He cannot hide behind whether it's the information he gave to the house, whether it, and that was the basis of whatever whatever is happening. That is what started this whole standoff in parliament. And and uh, the other side, the NDC side. <laughs> Sometimes I, I cringe at, at some of their actions. How can you can basically get into the chamber of parliament, remove the name tax of, of, of the other side, and then occupy a place that, that, that you don't belong, that does not belong to What you. do you mean by clandestinely? But that's exactly is it, what he did it, yesterday. Is it one side that's of exactly the house that looks, that looks after the chamber when you were a member of parliament? It is not. Okay. It is not. So but how you do you come recollect. by those conclusions? You could recollect that two days ago, when uh, the a question was posed to a speaker as to who, uh, who, who is majority, who is minority, he says he doesn't determine. And I, I think that, that that statement as well was very... <laughs> I'm, I'm, really, I'm really forcing myself not to use some words. I, I think that it was a very unfortunate statement coming from him. I think it was very, very unfortunate coming from him. He says that he's been engaged by institutions like the Council of State and other, other, other bodies trying to resolve the impasse in Parliament. And then he ends up singing to us that somebody did not come to him early and that his heart is broken and all of that. I think that, look, what is happening today in Parliament, every blame lies at the feet of the Speaker. And he is the guy who is plunging us into a constitutional crisis. And I, just because of his his um, his 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 his, 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 his political advantage, he stands to gain. Look, there is business government business to be done in Parliament. There is critical government business to be done in Parliament. And they think that they are getting some political advantage by staying government business happening in Parliament. And that's just what they are doing. And it's very unfortunate that the Speaker has allowed himself and the NDC to use the institution of parliament to gain political advantage going to and there. How election. do you blame... But I'm sure Ghanaians are watching. How, how, Ghanaians are watching. Okay. Well